with the enemy slowly approaching, I believe it is now time to initiate plan kill. The title's a work in progress. Okay, so what do you want us to do? We are going to be acting similar to the military, but, um, we're not the military. We'll probably never be the military, and we probably will suck, but every little bit helps. From what I've seen, you've been training pretty well. And I think you're ready for this. Everyone here knows you. You know them, for the most part. Blah, blah, blah. All we need now is structure and um, a code word in case the enemy finds us. So we're not completely screwed. As for structure and leading them out, leave it to me. I'm pretty good at leading a group, if I do say so myself. Hey, I have a great idea for code. How about kill me? Uh, no. What about save our souls? That's technically SOS, Milo. Um, screw us. You're not helping. Run, we're all dead. I picked a brainless boy for a lieutenant. Yes, yes you did. Okay, what about laundry detergent? Ow. You are so stupid. I'm sorry, but you guys low-key suck. Ha <laughs> ha! I've never heard something so true in my life, Ramona. Yeah. What about Domos? It means peace in Old Saloon. I don't believe many of the Penswell inhabitants know Old Saloon. That's actually a good idea, Ivory. Domos. So it is. So that's what we say whenever we see the enemy and we're screwed. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so if we're done, can we go back home now? Because I need to get to school before my mom kills me. Actually, I was thinking we should take a look around town before you go. You're kidding me, right? It's still dark out. So? Yeah, I think it's a great idea. Ivory, you know I hate working in the dark. Toughen up, Lieutenant. We're leaving. Oi. Tough luck. You be quiet. Ah! Ew! How did you get in the house? Don't ask stupid questions, Lee. I have my ways. Don't even think about trying to fight me, because I will beat you. Aw, it's cute. You're a mortal human, Lee. How much damage do you think you can do? A lot more than you think. Really? I'd like to see you try- Ow! Jeez! Uh, hey, Lee. What's going on, okay, um... Honestly, I don't know, but I'm too scared to ask. Should we get help? No, we should just sit here. Uh -huh, you're right, I'm stupid. <laughs> Gracie? <sighs> Forget it, Arvin. You're getting kicked out no matter what. Actually, speaking of which, what was the whole purpose of coming in here at all? I don't know. I just felt like torturing some poor innocent souls. You are horrible. I know. Too bad you've been gone for about three days, so you haven't seen the damage I've done then. Speaking of which, where were you, Ryden? That's none of your business. Did you by any chance get kidnapped? How did you know that? Oh, Rydrin. Here, let me tell you a secret. I know who did it. What? Mm-hmm. But I'm not going to tell you. I'm just going to say it's one of your enemies. One of my enemies? Mm-hmm. See ya. Hola, I've been told you need to exterminate a pest. Where is she? But that makes no sense. What are you talking about? Nothing, just thinking, I guess. Oh, okay. Do you know which way the pest went? Huh? I don't know. She said she was leaving, so I mean, that sneaky little liar. I know you're hiding in here, Arvin, and I will find you even if I have to turn the house upside down and inside out. <sighs> Mother Nature, a werewolf's real home. Where should I settle down for the night? Hm. Right there looks like a good spot. What's that? Hello? Who goes there? Oof! I thought I heard a familiar voice. God, no! Oh, stab me with a knife and call me dead. <gasps> Hi, Thorin! Sissy! Nuh-uh! You hug me, I will slap you so hard you will go flying 15 feet! Uh, oh, I'm sorry. How did you even get here? I abandoned you in the second dimension with no magic. I thought you were dead! No, remember, we're werewolves. I can always turn into a wolf to survive. I've been living as a wolf the past few months. Ugh, I thought you were too stupid to figure out that you were a werewolf. <laughs> no, silly. It's instinct. How much instinct do you have in those two brain cells of yours? Um, what are brain cells? My gosh, you're stupid. Go back to the second dimension where you belong. Now, or I'll kill you. Sissy, I don't get it. 
You used to be really nice before, but after you disappeared in the first dimension for a few months and you came back, you haven't been the same. Right, because I found out that kindness wasn't exactly the best thing, at least in my case scenario. It's better to be mean. Now go back to the second dimension and rot there. Unless you're willing to listen to me and accept my ways of living. Oh, okay. Arvin, who are you talking to out here? Thorin? Gaiden! Ah! <laughs> hey, where'd you come from? I saw a portal being opened and I don't do it and now I'm here, yay! <laughs> Thorin, don't talk to him! Why not? Because I said so. Arvin, let your brother be. Uh-huh. You can't tell me what to do. Actually, yes I can. Alright, you're a prince. Doesn't mean you're gonna use your title against me. <laughs> Come on, Ryderin, I know you. You wouldn't dare. Actually, you hate using your title. Actually, above anything, you hate being a prince. Well, you're pretty much right. But if you don't leave Thorin alone, I'm going to have to step in. Stay out of this, Ryderin. Thorin is my brother, and I can do whatever I want. Ugh. Ow. Leave him alone by order of the prince. You son of a... No, uh, watch it. Mm. Ah. Fine, whatever. Go back inside. Take him with you. I don't care. I'm gonna go sleep in the second dimension. I can't even stay in the first dimension with this thing. Ow. You okay, Thorin? Yeah, I'm fine. Oof. Uh. Come on. Let's go inside. It's really cold out here. But I don't know if anyone wants me inside. Stick with me and you'll be fine. Okay. Ow. That's one weird looking dog you got there, Bray. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Still not too sure how the doors work. Ow. <laughs> hey, Rydron. Hey, Zila. Owie. Oh, I keep stumbling. <laughs> hey, who's. No, 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 oh, no, 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 can't be, can't be, no, 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 wait, no, it cannot be. Thorin Redclaw? Yeah? Oh my gosh, you're alive. Why did everyone think I died? Because of how much Arvin abused you in the past. <laughs> uh, yeah, go ahead, just trample me over, that's, yeah, you should totally do that to your older brother. Shut up! <laughs> I'm just glad you're alright, bud, and I'm really happy to see you again. <laughs> is he on our side? Oh yeah. Arvin has tried multiple times before to get him to do bad things, and I mean, it's kind of worked, but at heart, he is not a bad person. Yay, we don't need more enemies. <laughs> Are you okay, Brave? Mm-hmm. I just, uh, I need a moment alone. What was that about? I'm actually not sure. <sighs> hey, Brave, you okay? Mm -mm. What's wrong? I know Thorin's not a bad person, but mm, I just can't help but stay mad for the things he's done before. Especially how much he traumatized my little sister. You want to know how painful that was for the both of us? I know, Brave. I was there. And it was just so terrible because I was trying so hard not to break because I knew he didn't really mean it. He just didn't know what he was doing and that it was wrong, but then eventually I did break and just, oh. Brave. It's okay. Be worrying too much about it happening again because my sister is most likely not alive anymore. But what if she is alive? What if it? Brave, chill out. I'm sorry, but I just can't help but worry. What if something like this happens again, only with someone else? What if? What if something worse happens? What if? Brave, chill out. It'll be okay. We'll get through the future just like we've gotten through the past. Oh, from home. Oh. Hey, Brave. Yeah. Oh, hi, Wendy. So, how was your day? Good. Yours? Pretty good. I actually have something to show you. Elise, Zila, and I were hanging out outside the other day, and we found something. Zila identified it as a second dimensional creature that probably passed through a portal unintentionally and wound up here. But seeing as that was a domesticated creature, we brought her inside, cleaned her up, and I thought I'd show you. <gasps> Wendy. She's a moonlight cat. Oh my gosh, Wendy. Oh, you don't know how much I love these creatures. I know. That's why. She's your cat now. Oh, Wendy, thank you so much. She's adorable, but... 
I can't take care of a cat. I'm in the second dimension for half a day, sometimes even a whole day. I can't just leave a cat here or drag her through dimensions nonstop. You don't have to. She can stay here with me. And then when you come home at night, she'll be waiting for you. <laughs> she still needs a name, Brave. And I thought I would leave that up to you. You know, my family used to have a cat just like her. And I really love that cat, but she passed away when I was a little baby. Her name was Moonstone. You could name this cat after her. Moonstone it is then. <laughs> what did I do to deserve you? The real question is, what did I do to deserve you? <laughs> this is way too cute. Uh, no, no, no. We're gonna have a lot of work to do before you master shape-shifting, mister. Why do people say algebra's complicated? Oh my gosh, finally someone who understands me. Oh, sorry. Ow, my face. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> She's really clingy to you. But I'm clingier. Ah! <laughs> I have a bad feeling about something. Uh, what do you mean? I don't know. A few days ago, Arvin told me she knew who had captured me. And I'm still pondering about it. Like, what does she mean? Is she lying? Is she telling the truth? If she's telling the truth, who did it? Because I don't know anyone who could have done it. My question exactly. I think it's safe to say that I haven't gotten very much sleep because I've been thinking about this too much. Yeah, no, I don't blame you. If I were you, I'd be doing the same thing. Hey guys, what you talking about? Just trying to figure out who could have captured Rydran. Hmm. I saw Arvin talking with someone the other day. The figure looked kind of familiar, but at the same time, I couldn't exactly tell because... Well, they were standing in the dark. Who could it have been, though? Surprise. Oh my gosh! Anyone but you! Huh? How? What? <laughs> Who the actual? <laughs> what? Wait, what's going on? Oh no, Wendy killed me! Ow! Well, of course. Cardolan Glowney. My ex-boyfriend. And he's also my cousin! What? Hold on a second, Redwood, you're bi? Ow. I want to die. I thought that idiot looked familiar. Judging by people's reactions, I can bet that this one is not on our side. Prepare 